Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? I hope you guys are all well. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing a project called Well Talk. So we're going to take a phrase like turpentine and turtles. This is the phrase that I've chosen. You can choose your own and translate it into its Well Talk equivalent. There are a few simple rules for translating text to Well language. There are no consonants whatsoever, only vowels excluding O. The U's and the E's are extra long, so we must double them in our program. So if you have a look at the string, you can see the U's and the E's have been doubled. So this is supposed to be O. Right, so the first thing is we're going to start off with a variable uh, called input. I'm going to add my input string, which is turpentine and turtles. The next variable is going to be vowels and um, it's going to be an array of vowels. So it's firstly A and E. You. And then after we iterate through these two variables and co compare them to each other, what we're going to do is we're going to need another variable. So I'm going to declare another variable. We're going to push the result into this new variable called result array. So we're going to set it as an empty array. Next up, we're going to start off with a for loop so that we iterate through input. Sorry, rather, we're going to declare a new variable that's i, set that equal to zero. And i is going to be smaller than input dot length. Then we're going to increment i. And then we're going to start off with another for loop. So this is multiple for loops, a nested for loop, for loop within a for loop, which is going to be let j equals zero. J is going to be smaller than length. Then J plus plus. Before we push any of these into the results array, what we're going to do is we're going to log this to the console just to check if our program is still working by now. Um, so that's going to be input at index i. This is going to be vowels at index j. Let's quickly run that. Okay, there you can see that's working. So let's just comment j out. You can see the input i is clearly working. Turpentine and turtles. Comment that out as well. So now it says here the u's and the e's are extra long. So we must double them in our program. So let's first start off with that. Um, in order to do that, we're going to have to be within the first for loop, um, which is the input, because we're going to take the U's and the E's and we're going to double them, right? So if input At index i is equal to u then we're going to push the result into the results array so it's result array dot push we're going to push the input
Then we're going to start off with an another if statement. So if we input that i is equal to u, sorry, e, we're going to also push that on the results array. Okay, so next starting off with let j with the vowels. So now we're gonna compare the two. Let me just make some space here. Well firstly let's just go straight to the bottom and then we're gonna log result array. As you can see, you can see that it's pushed those vowels into that array. Okay, so let's quickly comment this out. Right, so in the next for loop, we're gonna com we're gonna start off with another if statement, and we're gonna compare vowels to is it vowels? No, incorrect. Yeah, vowels at at index j, yeah. So we input that index i. If that is true, we're gonna push the result array. So we're gonna push that input at index i. So once again, we're gonna check our work. And in fact, it does push it into the result array. Okay, so now lastly, um, what we've got here is our vowels are all lowercase. What's within the result array is all lowercase. So we need to uh, change it to uppercase. And then another issue that we've got with the array over here is that, that everything is not in a single line or a single sentence rather. So we also need to fix that if we want to get this equivalent. Because as you can see, it's not in this order. It's not one after another. So we need to get it into a so sentence format. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new variable called result string. And set result array equal to it. But before I do that, let's just change the log over here. Uh, to result string. Okay, so create a new variable, result string is equal to uh, result array equal to the new variable result string and then in order to get it into sentence format we're going to use something called dot join which is just basically an empty string to get it into that sentence format and to get it into uppercase format we're going to use dot to uppercase right after that okay so that looks good. So let's quickly run that to see if we've got it into that format. And there you have it. Perfect. Exactly as the string is over here. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found it informative. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye for now.